Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. The Ten of Pentacles is here in the reverse. So there could be a situation here as far as like a family situation or something happening with your finances. Um, there could be issues with your finances because of a family situation. This could be a paternity case. This could be child support. This could be um, something concerning an inheritance. There's something here though. Some of you also are just breaking free from some type of generational patterns or something like that the king of wands is here so most likely you are some you're you're a natural born leader okay male or female king of wands this is being very charismatic this is being a leader this is being motivated um to to inspire other people perhaps to go on some type of journey yourself but the devil is behind it so there's been a lot of strings that have been attached so for some of you you could have karmic friends family members there I'm, I'm picking up a lot of like codependency here and um the tower has hit okay the tower has hit and certain people are being left out in the cold and this is going to allow you to be rewarded for a lot of your hard work and your dedication and um a lot of situations so the Justice card is here in the reverse. So something could have left you feeling victimized. Um, don't allow people to make you feel guilty for choosing yourself, for walking away. Okay, Ace of Wands is here, yeah. So, and then here we have um, the Wheel of Fortune. But the Wheel of Fortune is in the reverse. So you have... A brand new beginning and I've been saying this you have a very um, beautiful brand new beginning here that's very passionate um, I feel like it's it's fiery it's passionate it's exactly what you want and it's what you need but with the wheel of fortune showing up now in the reverse what that's telling me is that this is a, it's a turning point in your life that's beyond your control so this tower moment that's happening for many of you is beyond your control um, and I that's been coming out almost every day it's there's endings and new beginnings that are happening right now and there's nothing you can do about it um you're, you're pretty much being forced into alignment okay things are being forced out of your life for a reason yeah the hierophant just came out in the reverse so with the hierophant coming out in the reverse this is stating that right now you are choosing to um i feel put down a lot of outdated beliefs at this time you are challenging the status quo you're reevaluating what you want out of life the two of wands just came out in the reverse so you are reassessing and evaluating what you want you're defining your own goals you're making adjustments to your life the two of wands is you being in between two paths kind of in between worlds but the wands is action so that means that you're choosing now not to conform not to um live according to how other people have told you you're not going to be a sellout you're not settling for safe so this is good um this means that something that perhaps friends family lovers you know people in the workplace have advised you that you need to do you're it's time for you to step out of that yeah and here's the ten of pentacles once again so a lot of you are definitely breaking away from family or you're just breaking away from outdated beliefs about your own security and stability i feel that right now uh, some of you have perhaps been living your life making the assumption that you had to live a certain way in order to you know make money or have a certain type of relationship your ideas of security and stability is being challenged at this time so a lot of things that you've done or invested in that were karmic in nature the death card is here it's coming to an end now okay there's a transformation that's leading to this this rebirth but again like that energy of feeling a little bit tired and drained this is because right now it's like you can finally rest you're in re a recovery phase because the battle is over and honestly the the new cycle that you're going into is sort of like even if you didn't choose it if you surrender to god god is saying well this is why i'm taking you so you don't have any other choice right now but to, like i said assume the position and really get in alignment the nine of wands is here yeah, you're going to have to, I feel like you have to dig really deep 
you have to be very determined. Your your strength and endurance was tested here. The Ten of Wands. Yo, woo. And here we have um, the Nine of Swords in the reverse. So this is no more stress, fear, and anxiety. It is it's being in a recovery phase. You know, you're you're finding peace and solace. You're breaking cycles. You're seeing things more clearly because there was a heavy, heavy burden here. The Ten of Wands. Some of you could be experiencing even back pain right now. You could almost feel just like you're about to collapse. I've been talking about that, the ascension symptoms that a lot of people are having. So you could have a lot of aches and pains right now in the body. Your body is going through a major, major upgrade right now um, for this next cycle. Hmm. I'm hearing um, you will push to the limit with whatever this is. Let's see. Something here that was always, um, it was safe, but it, it wasn't for you. So you're just not settling anymore. You're not overcompensating. You're freeing yourself from the toxicity, the codependency. Um, you know, you're not, you're setting boundaries with friends and family. A lot of you have felt very, very guilty about setting boundaries with family or people in the workplace, but it's almost like now if people aren't respectful of you and your journey, they're pretty much being canceled out. Yeah. <laughs> so this is like the, the page of wands. Actually, I'm sorry, it's the Knight of Wands, but it's in the reverse. So the Knight of Wands in the reverse to me, um, yeah, and then the King of Wands here. You definitely could have a person around you. Ooh. It came on top of this Hierophant in the reverse. So for some of you, this could be a masculine, male or female, but this is someone who definitely could be a fire sign with the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. This is someone who can be a little bit reckless. I do feel like this person has the potential to be very successful. They're very passionate um, this person is not afraid to be a rebel. The problem with this person, though, is that they can be very, very arrogant. This is someone who, if they don't get their way, they may hold a grudge. Or this is the kind of person I'm hearing, you know, if they want to see you do well, but of course not better than them. So this, this is the in and out type of energy. This person, I feel, is very, very charming, very charismatic, very good with words, okay? But this person has a different side to them where they can be a little bit arrogant, even jealous. This is a very controlling masculine type of energy here. This could be someone with the five of swords being here in the reverse. This could be someone here who is wanting to come in and try and change a situation. Yeah, this person was very stubborn because the king of pentacles here is, is here in the reverse. So like I said, this person here is, this could definitely be like a Taurus, Leo, Sag. I'm getting Taurus and Leo. Doesn't have to be, but this person it's all about security and stability, but I'm getting a very flamboyant type of energy. This person here is ruled by materialism. Like, they're very greedy and possessive. When this person does not get what they want, the loyalty of a hierophant or the loyalty of a king of pentacles, it goes out of the door. This person will turn into the knight of wands, king of wands in the reverse, where they will begin to, like I said, become mean and arrogant. This person is experiencing um, a tower moment because I feel like this is someone who has done this to you time and time again. The tower moment is here and the eight of pentacles, but the eight of pentacles is in the reverse. So with the eight of pentacles being in the reverse, this is saying here that you're doing something over and over and over again. You've worked on this situation um, to the point now that you're just completely burnt out. And so now the tower is coming in or this is the death card here. And it's saying no more. This energy cannot coexist with you anymore because you're a high priestess. Okay? You're a high priestess. So whatever blockages were in your subconscious mind that allowed this type of energy to come in, you're freeing yourself of that now. So you're needing to make sure that, you know, you are 
clearing the energetic blocks because the eight of wands is in the reverse you weren't getting some type of down low here clearly about a particular person and it's probably because this person shape shifts this person can be the king of wands or they can come off as like the hierophant the king of pentacles underneath it all this person is all about money they're all about status they want you to conform again this does not have to be a man it's a, all masculine energy this could be a very overbearing masculine woman as well just you know this could be a really over controlling boss this could be a parent a lover a friend this is someone who wants you to live your life according to the way that they want you to live their life and it's almost like this person wants to be in your life or someone is trying to live vicariously through you therefore everything that you do they want it to be according to their will and their way so you're coming out of this cycle because this is something it happens constantly with this person therefore now there's a, a complete ending to this situation because most likely you have finally realized that this is not something that's in alignment with your greatest and highest good there was some kind of blockage here so you could have been dealing with like codependency or just some type of unhealthy attachment style someone here has someone very narcissistic someone definitely is has tried to gaslight you or make you feel guilty about something but the seven of wands is here in the reverse so the seven of wands in the reverse is saying you're not fighting for this um you've gone within now with the two of wands and as you're planning to go in the future you're not willing to fight with this person there there's no need to make amends there is no compromise needed you simply just want to to move move on the six of cups i just saw that this is something from the past wow so the magician came out in the reverse with the empress so this is a, an empress hmm this could be a really manipulative empress. However, the with the magician being in the reverse, I'm saying this two different ways. With the magician being in the reverse with the empress and all of this re-evaluation here, a lot of you right now, it's like if you are in this divine feminine type of energy, the magician in the reverse is... Perhaps you just didn't see that you had all of the tools and resources th th someone here has kind of brainwashed you, I feel, or just your own blockages in the subconscious mind. I don't think that you were able to recognize who you are as a divine feminine, as an emperor, someone who is very fertile and creative and can can manifest. When you see the magician card in the reverse, it's not just like something bad it's just that you haven't realized how to utilize all of your tools and resources so now it looks like you're making adjustments and you're seeing that oh you actually do have what you need and the ace of cups is here with the eight of cups and the queen of swords so yeah this is you realizing that you don't need to be cold and detached that you can be very much sharp and you can make decisions and you can release people places and things that just don't serve you now if this isn't the divine feminine who's just stepping into their power this is possibly a feminine energy here in a distorted type of energy who just don't realize that they need to make changes um some of you need to be careful of feminine energies being around you who are very negative and low vibrational they may have a lot of negative thoughts about you your life and just things in general you don't need to take advice from these people from this type of person and, and, and this could be a, a a wife a girlfriend a mother sister whom a aunt whoever this is someone here who does not really know how to utilize their own tools and resources as a feminine and if you take advice from this person while you are in the process of making adjustments and trying to get aligned in your life you very well could end up taking some type of loss okay this is someone that they they're just set in their ways okay so like i said two different situations here someone here is very much set in their ways so with you being willing now to challenge the status quo be mindful of who you take advice from okay because the moon is in the reverse you finally had the strength now to get mental clarity and to walk away from being afraid of yourself you're becoming more confident so there's a karmic energy here that's trying to play mind games with you i feel to try and stop you or slow you down because 
yeah, somebody here is trying to like convince you that something that you know is good for you is not good for you because the Ten of Pentacles is here. There is something that you're wanting to do that's going to bring about security, stability, the relationship you want, the home life that you want, the business that you want. And because you're not doing it according to how someone else wants you to do it, they're going to try and stop or block you. Okay. But the Queen of Wands is here. Okay. But this is the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So that makes sense. So a lot of you, you're tapping into this potential that perhaps you just were was ignoring was there as a divine feminine. But you also have this karmic distorted feminine here. That is trying to block you. Either this is someone in your life or if you have a person coming towards you or that you've been dealing with, they have this type of energy around them. So just be be mindful right now um, of people that you choose to talk to and especially tell your goals and dreams and other things too because someone here is very pessimistic. Um, whatever you want out of life, they're always going to try and discourage you. This could be a woman doing this to a man, okay? This could be for some of the ladies out here. Like I said, this could be a friend, a mother, or someone who is just naturally just pessimistic. This is someone who's never tapped into their their feminine energy. So now that you're tapping into yours, it's posing a challenge for this person because the energy now is is fading. You You and this person, you don't have as much to talk about anymore. You know, you're on two totally different paths. And this is where jealousy and envy comes in. And this is why the tower is here because now Spirit is saying, no, you, you have to move away from these types of people because you're going towards your own future and legacy. Okay. You fought really hard for this. The nine of wands and the ten of wands is here with the ten. So that's ten, two tens and, and a nine here, meaning that something is over, something that you fought very, very hard for. You've been carrying a burden for a long time and you fought really, really hard to finally go into a time now where you can actually manifest the life that you've always wanted. It's, it's you having this legacy mindset. So your karmic family and friends, they can't go with you. They don't. Yeah, you have to escape. The Eight of Swords is here in the reverse. So this is you coming out of the mental entrapment here. It, it's like you have to run away from these people. Somebody here has tried to perhaps make you think that you were stuck in a situation. And it's interesting how the readings to me now, it's becoming very clear what's for a male and what's for a female here. For some, th this is male and female. Some people just have karmic families, but there is men here who are dealing with, you know, women who are their wives, girlfriends, that they have children with or whatever. These women, they don't like the fact that some of these masculines are waking up to their own potential. And, and now they're realizing that they're no longer a vibrational match. These are a lot of karmic relationships and marriages that are falling apart now because people are evolving. People are looking at their partners, realizing we're just not a good fit. We don't complement each other. So you have to now let go of limiting beliefs. You're going to have to be strong enough to take your power back if you want to live the life that you truly want. It's really saying it's time for a lot of people to start being more selfish with themselves. This is releasing a lot of the codependency. So a lot of these narcissistic like people are falling to the wayside now because they can't gaslight you, confuse you. Or come in and, and try to attack you and, and keep you stuck in these cycles. There's an energetic shift that has happened. That's just, yeah, look. Disharmony. Everything that is misaligned with your morals and values that causes any type of imbalance in your life is being torn away. This is the lovers in reverse. I just said that. These are divorces, partnerships. And, and and this is divorce as in you are separating yourself from the contracts that you have with lovers, friends, and family. You have to get rid of people around you who you know that you can't really trust. And I feel that a lot of you right now, you're dealing with something where you may be feeling really drained too because you're overly emotional right now because you're recognizing that a lot of people around you 
have been extremely manipulative. You have four of swords. You have to go within right now. So you may be feeling like you need to isolate yourself. So don't worry about it. Take a break. Take some time out to heal. You're, you're recalibrating right now, right before this Ace of Cups comes in. This is going to be like an overflow of love that's coming in for you. And this is your reward. Because many of you, you've been determined to have true love and abundance in your life. So you just have to do the work now. You have to get rid of people around you who aren't actually happy for you. Who are feeding off of your energy. Wow, this is a lot of cards came out. Yeah. You can't take any shortcuts here. See, some of you, you keep trying to get to this, this overflow cup of love and, and romance and love and all this. But it's being delayed because the world is here in the reverse. For a long time, you've refused to close out cycles because you were afraid to lose people. But the four of wands is actually here in the reverse, which is saying that there's discord here. You're around a lot of people who do not actually, they don't support you. They don't want to see you get married. And then the four of wands in the reverse is also divorce. Okay. Some of you have partners and they don't support you. They don't support you. They don't, they're not growing or evolving with you. When you want to change your hair or you want to change a job or anything else, you have partners and friends. They just don't support you. You start a business and strangers always support you more than your family and your friends. Spirit is coming in saying now in order for you to experience true love, you're going to have to cut out the people who secretly hate you. The seven of pentacles is here and the seven of swords in the reverse. Yeah. So with the seven of pentacles being here and the seven of swords in the reverse, Seven of Pentacles is obviously you working really, really hard. Something here is coming into fruition. Like you're going to receive your return on your investment with the not, with the Ten of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands. But you're going to have to get very clear with yourself about the fact that like something around you is just fake. It's phony. And it's time for you now, Eight of Cups, to walk away. Okay. From a third party card says third party this is the three of of cups but it's in the reverse it's time to stop celebrating with people that i'm hearing some of you it's like you you can be in a room full of people and you still feel alone you're in a house with a partner and you you're always wanting to go out this is third party um this is overindulging as well some people, you're you're so unhappy to the point that you're overindulging or this is someone that you're dealing with. You're going to have to come clean about the fact that you're in a situation or have been that has just made you very, very uncomfortable. Now, if this isn't you, like I said, this could be someone that you're dealing with. This is a masculine who's in an energy right now of kind of like taking the, the cowardly way out of a situation by avoiding a person and drinking and, and partying and going to third party situations instead of just walking away in order to actually have this passionate new beginning here. Someone here may actually want to marry somebody. Okay. But they, but they have to detach from trying to have control. Yeah. Because here's the emperor in the reverse. The emperor in the reverse here with the ten of wands. Once again, now I'm kind of getting that that feminine energy. Some of you have someone they're they're just all about control. You could be married to this person and they are a total control freak. This person may not really take time out to even be a faithful, loyal, devoted husband, father, or whatever. This person here could have their own mother or father issues, but this is someone who is very rigid. They're all about control. They, they could care less about love. And some of you now, you're tapping into your own power and it's time for you to get away from this. This seems like just a very narcissistic person here who is obsessed with controlling you. And now that you're coming into your own, recognizing that you don't, I mean, you never had to deal with this. You're ready now to move quickly. 
Whoever this person is, though, you have the Knight of Swords. This person here is, they're disingenuine. They're a bully. This person is completely out of control. You can't, you, there's no way you will ever control this person. This extremely, yeah, this person is extremely controlling. I feel like this person watches you and stalks you. They want to know your every move. Yeah, the devil and the sun is here. This is a mismatch between two people. One is the sun, one is the devil. But also, the fact that this person is extremely toxic and karmic, they're constantly doing things where they're obsessed and addicted to you because of their own codependency. This is being illuminated. And you're needing to take this lesson here and see the truth about it and allow yourself to have this enlightenment so that you can just move forward. This same person here is this King of Wands, Knight of Wands person here who is extremely stubborn, very focused on money. This is the kind of person who feels like you just do as I say, but you're a free spirit. You're a free spirit. So it's time now for you to stop allowing this person to leave you out in the cold so that you can actually release the pain. Of dealing with this type of person. There is an ending here that is inevitable. And for a long time, I feel that somebody here has been in between a rock and a hard place, two of swords. Not understanding that you do have a way out. So something here has just been a stalemate situation. And it does feel like it's a lot of emotional abuse here. But spirit is coming in to end all of this suffering. You can't keep holding on to this type of pain. It's blocking your, your forward movement. Yeah. You don't have any direction in this situation. And somebody here is really fighting this. Like somebody has been refusing to walk away from a situation. Why? Because of the money. Material attachment here. Four of pentacles. And this could be a male or female. Someone here who just has refused to leave a situation. No matter how painful it is. Because they are afraid of... The situation with their finances. That's what this all boils down to. The spirit is going to force you now. To become more creative. To trust your intuition. To be more of a, um, a free spirit. So that you can go into partnerships, friendships and connections where it's equal give and take. But again, this is you are being forced to get out of the status quo. These fake marriages and relationships that are held together only because of finances and, and a person being pretty much just in this controlling, dominating type of energy that's coming to an end because it's time for you to actually manifest the life that you want. It's time for you to level up. Hmm. So whoever is in a relationship or sticking to a family situation or even a job, and you are refusing to let it go because of money, you might as well prepare yourself because it's going to be snatched from underneath you anyway. I mean, you, you really should work on your exit strategy now because this is men and women both who are staying in situations that are extremely unhealthy with people who are manipulative and obsessed instead of you moving forward to find peace and balance in your life. Yeah, here's a temperance card. And the Ten of Cups. Someone here is extremely emotional, but being very immature. And the truth is, is that, yeah, this is the King of Cups in the reverse. You're dealing with someone who is extremely emotionally unavailable and you need to move away from this. This person has no follow through. This person does not learn from their mistakes. Okay. They don't have any type of goals or direction. And, and this person could have goals and direction. This person could come off like a like a an emperor or an empress. Like they have everything figured out. However, they utilize your energy to fuel everything that they have. They have to have your energy to create it, to manifest and maintain everything that they have. Your energetic supply has to be cut off from this person. Because this person's energy mixed with yours, it causes an imbalance. You're not able to live and thrive because of this person. So somebody here is, is in a, a relationship where, I mean, 
literally the other person is feeding off of you and some of you you will know if this reading resonates with you because let's say for, you're in a partnership one of you is the breadwinner and making all the money and the other person can't seem to make it or you're working two three four jobs and you still seem it still seems like you're you're just not getting ahead you're always robbing peter to pay paul this is a problem with your environment you're overcompensating because of some type of issue that you have with your own self-worth and value i'm just going to call a thing a thing here you're in a codependent relationship with someone you're relying on that person because you want their company, their attention, their money, or whatever it is, or someone is doing this to you, and it's not allowing you to actually break out and live your own life. And all of the repressed emotions from all of the trauma, I feel like it has just become overwhelming. Some of you, you probably feel like you're about to buckle down and buckle at the knees because this situation is it's crippling you. It's debilitating and someone is just staying around no matter how abusive a situation is because of the facade for people in the community and for the finances. You need an exit plan because I'm telling you, spirit is going to break you completely down in this situation or whoever you're dealing with. Death. Page of Pentacles. Expect news about an ending. But this is an ending that's going to force someone into a new beginning. You may have to get a new job. A new home. You may have to go back to school. You're going to be forced to do something totally different. Yeah, because the two of wands is here. You have to make a choice. And you're going to have to at least take the first step to doing it. Again, this could be you or someone that you're dealing with. The moon. This is illusions here. I feel like somebody here needs to work on healing the inner child here. There are some blockages in the subconscious mind when it comes to money, success, being independent. Someone here has a, a, a fear of being single, abundant, self-sufficient. This is just codependency. The two of cups is here. Someone feels like they have to be in a relationship with someone in order to have any type of growth or expansion in life. Judgment, yeah. So you're in for a rude awakening. You're gonna you're gonna be judged for this. Eight of Wands. Moving forward towards a new beginning. Ace of Cups. New love. Four of Cups. Yeah. And you have to you have to do this now. You have to walk away now. You're gonna have to be bold and walk away now. Because it's like you, you have this star energy. You have this healing energy. It's working for you right now. You've already mastered healing. You've mastered some type of lesson here. You know something is just not in alignment with you. You have to walk away. If you don't walk away, you're going to miss out on an opportunity to finally be independent. To be a boss. To be an entrepreneur. To be a leader. To just be free. To be passionate about your own life. You're going to miss out on that opportunity. Some of you are going to miss out on a romantic offer of a lifetime as well. Because you won't leave a karmic person behind. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Your money will improve if you have the strength to move away from a situation that is built on lies, cheating, backstabbing, deceit. And everything else you're you're constantly trying to invest in in a penny with a hole in it it's it's over it's done and this is this is all related to the higher for energy here outdated beliefs somebody could be staying together like i said because of family religion traditions or something like that but it's not working it's just not i mean i don't know there's nothing else to say really Somebody can expect a divorce very soon or a job ending or a divorce um, or to be separated from friends and family who are just very narcissistic, who are not allowing you to move forward in life. But you also aren't allowing yourself to move forward because one thing about any codependent situation, you can never only blame the other person. You have to take responsibility for your role in that situation as well. 
a narcissist and an empath, they feed off of one another. Um, I mean, honestly, like, that's the message. There's, there's nothing else to say except <laughs> something here is over. I mean, this is a very clear indication. Something here is over. Yeah, the chariot. You you have no choice but to move forward now. And the moon here from illusions. Yeah, someone here has created this illusion that you need to always be focused on the negative. You have a choice. With the lovers here, you have a choice. You can choose yourself or you can choose this person. You can choose this person or you can choose someone new. But you have to get out of this illusion. You're going to have to listen to your own intuition. And pay attention to the signs that you're receiving from the from the divine. And when you get these signs and these downloads, you need to keep them to yourself because somebody here is listening to another person that is telling them that they need to stay in something that is toxic. Somebody here is getting some really bad advice with this five of cups being here. You have cups that are being offered to you and somebody wants you to keep focusing on something. So this is, you know, you telling someone you want to start a business and they're saying, no, you need to stay at your job. When you tell your, your family that, you know, you want to divorce your partner, they're telling you, no, you need to stay for the kids. You're going to have to let go of your fears here. Because the rewards and recognition come from you being strong and working hard to get out of this situation. Because th this is being in a web of lies. Yeah, the two of swords here. You're stuck at a crossroads right now. Either you or someone that you're dealing with. Someone here is not making a decision to follow their heart. Yeah, somebody here is just being delusional, acting like there's no problem here. But you have the King of Cups, the Sun, and the Ace of Wands with justice here. Here's the King of Swords, the Four of Wands, the Two of Cups. Three of Wands and the Awakening card here. Unwise choice. Yeah, somebody here has just become awakened to the 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 fact that there's a lot of deep regret and sadness due to some unwise choices that they've made in the past. Okay, if you have someone from your past returning to you, they may want to express this to you. This doesn't mean that you have to be with this person, but someone is definitely reflecting over their life and starting to see things in a totally different perspective some of you you have a choice between lovers and someone is about to really realize that they've lost you for good the queen of swords is here with the three of cups you want something with the six of pentacles you want an equal give and take situation here oh sorry i almost dropped something <laughs> you want equal give and take in a situation and I feel like you're just at your wit's end. So this is a missed opportunity for somebody. Somebody here was arrogant, egotistical, mean, nasty, controlling, narcissistic. They've been gaslighting you to try and make you stay in a situation that you know you need to move away from. Some of you are even experiencing some form of abuse from this person, whether it be verbal, emotional, and I hope not physical. Not only is this person trying to gaslight you this person's family and friends also try to minimize however you feel about a particular situation because somebody wants you and someone else to stay connected for their own gain because of what it looks like but justice has to be served here now there is a masculine specifically out here who is coming into this realization but they're still going to miss out on their feminine because they waited too late this is a situation that has been presented to someone several times. I'm getting for the last four to six years, somebody has known that they should have left somebody behind and they chose not to. Now they've missed out on the opportunity. There's no going back. There's a masculine here who cannot go back to his divine feminine because he has taken four to six years to make the decision to leave. A situation that was a facade the entire time. Yeah. Because somebody is, mo is moving forward. This divine feminine who has finally tapped into her feminine energy and is manifesting. 
does not want this. That's why the King of Cups is here with the King of Swords. A decision has been made. And this King of Swords person here, this emotionally unavailable detached person is going to have to watch someone that they love be married and happy elsewhere because it took them forever to make a decision to stand up for something that they believed in or that they they claim to have believed in which was true love this person believes in survival dictatorship power control being stubborn this person didn't care about love now now they want love but their person is gone and they can't come back it has the, the energy it has been cut out and I feel that there is a feminine, I, you waited and you put so much work into this situation. This could also be someone that you were married to. This person played a lot of games and you're finally filing for their divorce. You could be separated from this person. Now they want to try to do right. No, the, the time is up because the truth is, is that this person, they may change their actions for some time because they don't like the current circumstances and conditions. But really, it boils down to they don't like the fact that they're losing control. Their character is still the same. This person has not changed. And you have the sun, the king of cups, and the ace of wands here. You moving forward in this chariot energy, moving forward, making this decision, is going to allow you to go towards peace, happiness, joy, success. Some Someone in your life who will be devoted, trustworthy, like the type of person that you can completely trust. Whether it's a friend or a lover. You just have to be bold enough to move in this new direction. To finally do something that you're passionate about. Yeah. Somebody somebody missed this opportunity. Because they, they, they were raised on survival instead of love. Yeah. The world is here. The world. The cycle is over. Look. The two of cups. The empress. I cannot make this up. And the release card. See? Divine Feminine here, whether male or female, is wrapping up a cycle here, moving away from a relationship or a situation, workplace or whatever, ending something to go into something brand new here. You're manifesting the partnership, whether it's business or romantic, of your dreams here. King of Wands is all about just being bold and courageous, taking a, a leadership role to put in the work. To finally having something real in your life. Something is just not a vibrational match for you anymore. I'm hearing somebody say, I just don't want it. 